Gideon and, and Joseph, I mean, yeah, Gideon and Joseph, uh, I, I, I think Maria has just made some awesome, awesome progress. Just, uh, yeah. yes. it's just really, it's very striking. It's very striking. Very nice pronunciation. Yeah, very nice. Okay. Let's, yeah. Um, it still appears it's the four of us. Let me um, move over to the lesson for you guys. Um, it's, it's similar to yesterday. Uh, we'll enjoy some verses from Leviticus. Um, today we're looking at um, a verse from Leviticus chapter 1, verse 10, and Leviticus chapter 1, verse 14. Um, I only gave some, a Shoresh is... Um, here we can use kamats to pronounce it joseph do you want to try pronouncing this shoresh yes oh i've not opened this sorry i've not turned on my microphone oh okay all right uh, so um, i'm asking if you're able to see it if you pronounce the shoresh it's in green allah Right, Allah means to raise up. And actually there's only, yes, there's only one instance of, of the Shoresh. And here it is in the, in the first line of, of the verse 14. We've made that Shoresh into a, a noun, Ola. So Ola means an offering. So Gideon, how would you relate the word the, the English word offering the shoresh a lot to raise up. If you had to preach on, for example, what's the relationship between the shoresh raise up Allah and the noun form Ola offering? How would you how would you preach this out? Okay. You you may uh, are you asking uh different difference between the two or uh, how, yeah, how they relate yeah how they relate how they relate right the idea of Allah to raise up how does that relate to the word Ola which means offering or sacrifice offering yeah so is it not like uh, giving okay uh, giving an offering to God that's how I would understand it. So we're offering up, we're, we're raising up something to give to God, basically. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. I think it's no more. Yes. Is, is that, that's the way I would understand it. Not, not much more co complicated than that. So then we, yeah, go ahead, Joseph. It can also be supported by Timothy. Okay. First Timothy two nine, where we see Paul telling men to pray while raising up their uh, their hands. They offer they offer they offer praise to the Almighty by the way raising their raising up their their hands. That's that's beautiful. And, and we see that in, in, in church worship, at least in some church worship. Yeah, beautiful. It's beautiful that you bring that in. I appreciate that. The, um, the rest of the, the lesson is really just focused on um, the, the rest of the Shoresh lesson is focused again on the same Shoresh that we had yesterday. Do you recall, Joseph, what Shoresh we had yesterday? Yesterday, yeah, it was, it was um, I've given you a clue on the screen. I've given you the clue. Actually, I've oh, given you sure. Right, and we can we can use the 
Yeah, Cargave. Cargave. Right, right. And um, the, the, the O pronunciation, I'll review that again. Uh, in this case, Gideon, you're absolutely right. This instance of the Shorish Karev is kor, Korban with the O sound. And there are a couple of reasons for that. But, but the main point that we're understanding is we've taken the Shorish Karev and we've turned to Korban, which means sacrifice. And the other point that we can get is the the O at the end means his. This is a possessive suffix, which means his. Um, that's not a good color. Let's find a darker blue. That's better. Corbano means his sacrifice. Here's another instance of Ola. How about uh, the Lamed? Do we remember what the Lamed means as a prefix? Um, Lamed. The Lamed, yeah. Two. Right, two or four. So in this case, Le Ola means for an offering. And then here's another instance of karav, but we have a yud in the middle. And um, a prefix of a yud also. And then we have this new. So these are some, some, some things new, some things old. This is known as a verbal form uh, in Hebrew called the hefeel. We have what are known as binyanim. The word binyan in Hebrew means building. Binyanim means buildings. And using the term binyanim with respect to Hebrew grammar is, is talking about the building blocks of the Hebrew verbs. And just like you have in Gaeli, in Kiswahili, where we understand that sometimes you'd have vizuri, mzuri, mzuri, it's the same idea with binyanim. There are different um, ways that we conjugate the, the shoresh as verbs. So this binyan is known as hefeel, and it features uh, this ya at the beginning and this yud in the middle. So yakriv means he causes to offer. This is a little bit advanced. It's called the causative binyan. It, it, it's, I'm causing something to be brought near. Karev means to bring near. Yakriv means he caused it to bring near. He caused it to come near. He drew it near. And then the new suffix means it. Yakrivenu, he shall bring it near. So that's a, a little bit of uh, grammar for you. We actually have Yakrivenu means um, bring it near, right? Yeah, yeah. Bring it near, yeah. He will bring it near, yeah. Why don't we um, review the um, vocabulary? Some of it is from yesterday. We have, for example, and you could give us the vocabulary if, if you'd be so kind. It's in red, and then the translation is in is in black. So, so, right. This is Gideon's time to shine, Joseph. Let okay. let your brother Gideon have a have a chance. So anyway, anyway, you got it. So on. and we don't like this final nun because it doesn't have a nice long tail, but it's a final nun. We okay. like this font. We like this font better. Let me share the font we like better. That's the font we like better. Yeah. And what does mm. what does tone mean? Flow. Well done. So that would be a bunch of a bunch of sheep is your tone. Your basic tone is a, is a bunch of sheep with a Maasai herder. 
And then the next one, right. And here, let me try and explain why it's O instead of A. Korban, Korban. So there are a couple of things going on. One is it's closed. It's a closed syllable. And typically we don't speak the A, the Patak, red sound. We typically don't see it in a closed syllable. So it's actually uh, functioning as a short vowel, whereas usually it's a long vowel. It's functioning as a short vowel because it's part of a closed syllable. And the other reason is that it's followed by a resh, and a resh is known as a guttural. Uh, the resh, the aleph, the ayin, these are known as guttural consonants. So for those two reasons, that it's followed by a guttural and it's also part of a closed syllable, we say o oh, instead of a. Ah. So it's korban. Together all korban. Korban. Beautiful. And the meaning is? Sacrifice. Well done. And next, we have the next I word said. kindly. Beautiful. And what is our rule of two segols? The first one is, is uh, vocalized. Accented, you could say, yeah. You accent the first one. Kesev. 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 Beautiful. And that means? Blend. Right. The next, the next, um, now we have is is it's a goat. Goat. Yola. This is not Offering. the greatest. Yeah, let me bring it into a, a better font. Give it another try. See if that's more helpful. Yola. So we want to make a yud here as, as opposed to an ayin, but it's actually an ayin. So in silence, and we just yeah. pronounce the vowel. Ola. Beautiful. Ola. Right. Often. Right. I think that's all the, the milim I have. Let's take a look at the verse. Um. We have in the first line, this is the translate. Yeah. Beautiful. So we know that sown, do you recall what sown means from our, what we just learned? Flock. So how about hot zone? The flock. Right. The flock. flock. Right. And do you recall what mean? What mean? The. From. Yeah. From. From. From the flock. From the flock. Beautiful. How about this one? This word here. Joseph. Give me the the. The, the noun, the, the vocabulary word, don't don't pronounce it with these vowels, but pronounce it the way we learned it down below. Would would be and then give me the translation. So actually what I'm asking you to do and I'm not being very clear. Yes. Give me the I apologize. I'm saying give me just the just the vocabulary word kesev. The sacrifice. Right, kesev is a lamb. Yes. Kesev means a lamb, and then I'm saying now pronounce as it appears in the verse. Pronounce it now as it appears in the verse. Oh yes. The entire entire word, right? So we want to actually close a syllable here. Hak sa vim. Hak sa vim. Want to try it again? Well done, Gideon. 
Joseph, you want to give it a try? Yes. Okay. Hakesavim. Right. So we can, that's very nice. It's very nice. Actually, Joseph's pronunciation uh, addresses an, an, an interesting issue. Savim. Is that um, really when we have ha, which means the, it, it does stand alone. So pro pronouncing the pronouncing the shva is actually correct. Ha kisva ha But I'm 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 used to hearing it in the study halls as ha savim. It goes very quickly. But anyway, very well done. Uh, we, so we have two things going on. We have the ha before the kesev. Then we have some changes in the vowels, and then we. Have him. Do you remember, Joseph, what the E does for us? Brutal form. Very good. So we have ha savim. Ha savim. How would you translate that? The sacrifices. It is. Kesev is a lamb. Kesev is a lamb. Oh, yes. The lamb. The lambs. Right, the lambs. Very nice. So this is some of the analysis that we can do. Um, it's a similar analysis here. Which vocabulary word is is represented in the in the word I've highlighted now, Gideon? Im. No, the which the the two letters in red relate to the vocabulary word. Oh, it means God. Ha-izim. It's, it's this one right here. A. Right, A. It's not sure. So we have the instance of A. It, of course, the vowels have been A, and we proceed it by the ha, and we follow it by the im. So how would we pronounce this word, Gideon, and how would we translate it? ha izim Beautiful. Ha'izim. A god. So the im is the indication of a plural. Did you say goat or goats? Right, right. And you're correct. Very good. Yeah. So, uh, that's Pretty much it for the vocabulary. Why don't each of you guys take a turn uh, reading the Hebrew? Joseph, why don't you start with verse 10? Okay. Vim Min Hatson. Well done. Car, carbon, I can change. Carbonone. Yeah, I can. Nice. Cor. Corbano, right? Yes. Corbano. Corbano. Min. Hak. Hakev. Sha. Hake. Hakeshav. Hakeshavim. Hak. Pa. Right, hak. Haksavim, it's a sin. Haksavim. Haksavim. Yeah. O. Min. Ha. Izim. Beautiful. Izim. Beautiful. Leo, Leola, Leola, right, Leola, Zachar, nice, Zachar, I'm lost, yes, I can oh. see, Zachar, uh-huh, Hamim, huh? Tamim, 
There you go. It really makes a difference a bit of font, does Let me change this one to a better font also. Tamim. Mm -hmm. Ya kor ya kiri. No, this one you definitely you definitely want to close Joseph. Yak. Yes? Yes. Yak. Yak. There you venu. go. Venu. Yak ri ve nu. One more try, one more time. Yak. V. But that's a rage. Vinu, yeah, vinu. Huh? Oh, yes. Yar. Venu. <laughs> Yar. Venu. Oh, Joseph, yes. brother. Yar. Venu. There you go. How much? How much sleep did you get last night, brother? <laughs> Five hours. Five hours? That's not too bad. Five hours isn't too bad. Not great. You need more. You're still growing. You're still growing. You need eight hours. Okay, Gideon, it's your turn, brother. This is uh, verse 14, chapter 1, verse 14. Let me change it to Now it should be a little a little easier. Okay. Whenever you're ready, brother. Yeah, I am I am ready. Okay. Go for it. The im, the im. Min Hayo. We seem to want to ha -oh. convert an ion into a a yud -oh. for some reason. Ha of there you go. Yeah. Ha of good. Hola. Nice. Carbano. Corbano. Corbano. Yeah. Well done. La Jova. Very nice. Ve, ve, kervu, ve, verte, ve, kervu. So we're on to a good start. It's uh, open, the, you got that right, then it's closed, heek. Vehik. Vehik Riv. Nice. Vehik Riv. Beautiful. Min. Min. Hato, hato vir. Min. Hato rim. Huh? Nice. Min hato rim. O. Min. Bene. Nice. Bene. Hayo, hayona. Hayona, nice. Eight, korbanon. Well done. Banon. Well done, beautiful. The im min ha'of ola korbano, and if he's uh, giving his sacrifices from birds, la, la shem to God, the he grieve min ha'torim, then he shall. Uh, Bring air from the, the turtle doves, the torim, the turtle doves. Omin bene hayona, or from young do or from young doves, et korbano, his his um sacrifice. Very nice. Um, our our challenge uh, is when people reach five. Uh, lessons they've enjoyed the class uh but then for whatever reason they're either unable uh or unwilling to offer something to continue it's a difficult uh hump to get over it's a difficult hurdle for us to get over um i've had several that that make promises and then for whatever reason are unable to fulfill their commitments 
Um, so I, I think that part of the issue is that we can possibly find uh, older, older, you know, older individuals who are a little more financially secure. That might be part of the issue. Uh, again, with